Hello, I'm going to talk about what I learnt taking apart a 2017 22 kilowatt hour Renault Zoe battery. The battery is 360 volts nominal and has a max energy of 25.9 kilowatt hours. You can see a service disconnect here, the power and data and the mounting lug here. Air goes in through this big duct at the rear of the battery. Removing all the bolts around the outside allows you to take off the top cover. You can see the modules sort of underneath here, the BMS computer here, service disconnect and supporting components. Taking off another cover shows the 12 modules, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and the same on the other side. The most negative terminal is here and they're all wired in series around and connected with bus bars. This is one of the bus bars. At the top, the 12 modules are split into two packs of six by this fuse. It's a 275 amp fuse. At the front of the pack, around here, you have a lot of the supporting components. You can see the service disconnect here. which disconnects both the positive and the negative sides of the pack. You remove it when it's in the car by pulling on here and lifting the green lever up then pulling out. As you can see there are the four pins that make the connections and then there's two small pins here that provide a signal to the computer. Putting it back on is simple and goes with a click. As I said earlier, you have your data and your main power connection. On the negative on the main power is this blue box here, which acts to remove electrical noise in the system. This plastic board mounts all of these components. The positive from the service disconnect goes to the fuse here, which is another 275 amp fuse, from a buzz bar to a 150 amp 450 volt contactor, on another buzz bar through a Hall Effect current sensor, and then back to the positive terminal of the main power plug around here. This component is another contactor rated at 450 volts and 10 amps and this is an 80 ohm resistor which together form the pre-charge circuit. All of these components are controlled by this connector here which goes into the rest of the wiring loom. Removing the modules is fairly simple. There are four bolts that hold each module in and then once the cell tap wire connectors are removed you can just lift the modules out. Here's a module removed from the pack. It's a 16.2 kilogram, 2.16 kilowatt hour, 30 volt nominal module made of 16 36 amp hour NMC cells. The cells are wired in AS2P configuration. There's a positive and negative battery terminal and on the opposite side there's a cell tap connector. We can take a closer look at this by removing the top cover. If you just remove the eight Phillips head screws and then lift sixteen cells in parallel pairs so there's two cells on here, two cells on here, etc wired in series so the most negative goes to one S here joins to the next pair two S here joins to the next pair, three S and so on till you get the most positive terminal here you can get a greater look at how each series pair of cells is connected by just lifting this top cover off. It's these U-channel pieces which seem to be common on quite a few LG Chem modules. I'm going to put it back together now so we can take a look at the underside and the cell tap wiring. Okay, I've turned the module upside down and you can see there's a little panel here, a long one here and another one here. Using a small screwdriver, I'm pressing in the tabs which lift up this one side of this here 
and there's a very similar one on the other side that shows us the BMS tap wires. There's one, two, three, four wires that go to this side of the module, a five wires that go to the other side of the module, and then two extra wires that go to the middle. These two black wires are the thermistor wires that sit pretty much in the centre of the module. The coloured wires represent 0 volts, 1S, 2S, 3S, 4S, etc. I've uh, written down the colours along with some other information. By lifting the locking tab and pulling you can disconnect the, the uh, cell tap wire from where it goes onto the cell. As you can see there's a fuse here which is a 2 amp time lag fuse. Putting it back in is quite simple but you need to make sure the wires are back located properly before putting the bottom cover back on. Well, I hope you enjoyed. I'm using these modules in my classic car electric conversion. Please let me know all your thoughts and comments in the section below.